Fox News alert. The U.S. flexing its defense muscles overnight, destroying an incoming test missile off the coast of Alaska. Lockheed Martin's Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, or THAAD, successfully intercepted the target. The U.S. Army providing critical support to pull it off. Now, the test meant to send a strong message to North Korea that if the communist country fires a nuke, America can defend itself. Now, ever since North Korea test fired its long range missile, considered by a number of experts to be an ICBM, there has been a wave of speculation and analysis on how far it could actually travel. Most experts agree it has a range of several thousand kilometers, but in a new assessment, one renowned expert says it could travel closer to 10,000 kilometers, putting America's west coast well within range in the not too distant future. Shin Se Min with more. North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile, once fully developed, will be able to hit a U.S. naval base in San Diego, some 9,700 kilometers away. That's the assessment of John Schilling, a researcher at the Aerospace Corporation in California, who was also an expert on North Korean missiles. In an analysis posted on the North Korea monitoring website 38 North on Monday, Schilling said Pyongyang's Hwasong-14 ICBM will be able to reach the west coast of the United States with a 500-kilogram payload. He added the regime's missile has a detachable payload shroud that could hold multiple payloads or a single warhead, and decoys and penetration aids aimed at getting past U.S. missile defenses. The expert also said that in its current state, the U.S. National Missile Defense System is limited and unreliable, working just half the time in tests. The U.S. military makes history as North Korea attempts to join the historically small group of nations with the ability to send a nuclear weapon across thousands of miles. An American interceptor missile successfully destroyed an intercontinental ballistic missile today in what could be a dress rehearsal for a North Korean attack on the U.S. West Coast or other U.S. territory. Senior U.S. commanders say this test was long planned, but it clearly sends a message that the U.S. is stepping up efforts to defend the U.S. homeland from threats like North Korea. Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt is live at Vandenberg Air Base, Air Force Base in California. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, Brett. This was, without doubt, the most critical test yet of the U.S. missile defense system, with the Pentagon under huge pressure to deliver a successful strike and thus send a powerful message to North Korea or any other nation that might target the United States. The launch of the ground-based interceptor missile was spectacular and deadly serious, testing the first line of U.S. defense should North Korea fire a nuclear weapon at an American city, a capability the Pentagon believes Pyongyang will soon have. In my view, it's a matter of time. Vice Admiral James Searing is the director of the Missile Defense Agency and sat for a rare and exclusive interview with Fox News ahead of the test in which the the U.S. is simulating a North Korean attack by launching an unarmed intercontinental ballistic missile from the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean and aiming to take it down with the interceptor launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. It's very difficult. We're talking about intercepting in space at hundreds of miles of altitude with closing velocities of thousands of miles per hour. It's hitting a bullet with a bullet. And the difficulties have been evident in past tests, with the interceptor only hitting its target about half the time. But Admiral Searing insists that technology has improved markedly since the last test in 2014. I'm very confident through tactics and procedures that the system can and will defend the homeland if attacked. 
Fox News was also given exclusive access to the 49th Missile Defense Battalion at Fort Greeley, Alaska, where 32 of the U.S. total of 36 interceptors are based in these silos. Lieutenant Colonel Timothy Brower is the commanding officer. You've got a nuclear weapon fired heading for L.A. How many of these do you fire to take it down? So the, the tactics, techniques, and procedures, those are classified, but I'll, I'll say we fire more than one. If we're talking about a nuclear warhead headed to L.A., we want to make sure that we get it. Weapons engage the threat to Los Angeles. And that's why the soldiers here work simulated attacks every day of every week. Target to Los Angeles has been successfully intercepted and destroyed. When we're all watching the news and seeing North Korea preparing for a test, you guys are at a very different level here. Absolutely. We are ready to fight tonight. And tonight, as Pentagon officials breathe a huge sigh of relief at this successful intercept test, those missile defense crews are indeed at their stations, ready to do their part and aware that when it comes to a real nuclear attack, they cannot afford to fail even once. This bird is seriously dangerous but beautiful. Thank you for watching Right Wing. Your support really does mean the world to me. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow.